Hello everyone, welcome to the final Saturday night polling roundup of the general election of 2024. So here we go, we've had some more opinion polls released today. We're going to go through those for you in a second. And as I say, we are getting ever closer to the general election. It's going to be on Thursday uh, now. So getting ever closer, this is the final Saturday night of the general election campaign. And, uh, you know, we really are getting into the final stages now. So if you've been enjoying the polling, vlogs on the channel through uh, this uh, general election. Please like, share, subscribe and show to everybody for doing that. I haven't done as much as I would have wanted to do because I had a long gap halfway through the election to be in hospital for uh, 11 days with a fractured ankle. But, uh, you know, we've done some pretty decent um, body roundup videos. And last night's body roundup um, video went over 3,000 views, I noticed. So, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, tuning in to that one, liking, sharing, subscribing, and all of that good stuff. Um, but we're not at the end of the election yet. We've still got a lot of polls to get through, actually. There will be loads and loads of polls next week, and particularly next Wednesday, uh, when, you know, all the pollsters will give their final polls of the campaign. So, next Wednesday's party roundup will be quite late, I would have thought, but it will be. Uh, and, <coughs> excuse me, it will be an epic. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got Saturday night's body round at two. Now, before we get on with the polls that appear today, being two of them, uh, I'm going to just talk about two polls that appeared um, earlier today. But, uh, well, like, so let's have a look at Yuga. First of all, we had a Yuga poll show up earlier today, and that uh, had a 4,000. Uh, sample size. They found that the Conservatives were on 20%, Labour were on 37%, Liberal Democrats were on 13%, SNP were on 3%, Greens were on 7%, and Reform on 17%. And uh, YouGov found that Labour overall had a lead of 17% over the Conservatives there. How does that compare with the previous uh, Yuga poll, which is this one just here? Um, though uh, they found the Conservatives up two, actually on the previous Yuga poll, Labour up one, uh, from 36 to 37. Uh, Liberal Democrats were up two as well, or were down two, I should say, from 15 to 13%. Uh, no change for the SNP. Uh, Greens were down one from 8 to 7%, and no change for reform. Overall, Labour's lead was down one from 18% to 17%. We also had a more in common poll uh, show up late last night, and uh, they had a 3,361 sample size. And they found the Conservatives a little bit higher than some of the pollsters on 24%. Having said that, that's still very low for the uh, governing party. Um, Labour were on 39% with uh, more in common, uh, Liberal Democrats on 13%, SNP 3%, Greens on 7%, and Reform a little bit lower, again, and some of the polls have them on 13%, and overall Labour lead of 15% there. How does that compare with the previous more in common poll? It's this one uh, just here for the news agents, and uh, the Conservatives were up one, from 23 to 24%, Labour were down one from 40% to 39%, Liberal Democrats were up two from 11% to 13%, Greens unchanged on 3%, um, SNP unchanged on 3%, Greens unchanged on 5%, and Reform were down one from 14% to 13%. The overall Labour lead went from 17% over Conservatives to uh, 15%. Let's just refresh the page, make sure tonight's two of the polls haven't appeared. No, they haven't. Right, we can look at those on Twitter or Expo. Somebody's a little bit late updating the uh, opinion poll page at uh, Wiki tonight. Would not be updated by now. But as I say, we can look at this um, at, uh, at, uh, at uh, X, or I still call it Twitter, really. But <laughs> you know where we are. Um, so anyway, uh, we've got uh, Savanta. And uh, they've got a new Westminster voting intention poll for the Sunday Telegraph, finding Labour, interestingly, on their lowest share since January 2022, way back uh, when uh, Boris Johnson was still around, of course, <laughs> compared to when the Conservatives vote are uh, a lot lower. But they've got Labour on 38%, which is down 4 
on their previous Savant Pond. Maybe it's just a regular pond, not an MRP or anything like that. Um, but uh, it's a regular th poll. Labour down four on their last regular poll. 38%. Conservatives on 21%. Unchanged on the last uh, Savanta poll. Reform on 14%. Again, unchanged on the last Savanta poll. Liberal Democrats on 11% up one. Greens on 6% up one. SNP on 2% down one. And others on 7% up one. And that seems like a very, very, very high total, I have to say, for others. I'm not sure <laughs> who the others would be there. Of course, there are the Northern Irish uh, parties and Ply Curry, but typically that would only get you know, like 2 or 3% really of, of the national vote, if that. So I'm very unsure how um, uh, Savanti get to 7% for others. But anyway, it's uh, who most others, <laughs> mysterious others might be. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, there we go. That's, you know, you have to take each poll on its merits. That's what Savanta is showing tonight. A little bit dubious about that one, though, due to the others, uh, the high others. And also about opinion, of course, this might be the final opinion poll that we get. They may do an either poll poll, not sure. But uh, this will be the last opinion poll for the Observer, anyway. And uh, Labour continue to lead by 20%. So they've got Labour on 14%, unchanged on the last opinion poll last week. They've got Conservatives on 20%. Again, that is unchanged on uh, the previous poll uh, from opinion. They've got Reform on 17%, up 1%. And just three behind the Conservatives, Liberal Democrats on 13%, unchanged. Greens on 6%, which is down 3%. Quite significant uh, movement for the Greens, but not sure uh, where that's gone to, to be honest. <laughs> it doesn't really show any of the other parties moving a great deal, does it? And SNP on 3% again, unchanged um, with opinion. There is their overall bar chart. Um, notice they've got others on 1%. That is much more typical for where others are. So quite how um, the Manta got 7% for others, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, coming back to the bar charts, they've got 20% for Conservatives, 40% for Labour, 13%. Liberal Democrats, 3%. SNP, Plied on 1%. Greens on 6%. And Reform on 17%. There. We come back to our wiki. Let's have a look at the overall polling graph before we go. And then this Saturday night polling roundup. Um, though uh, the drop for Labour's trend line is levelling off. The Conservatives look like they're still dropping. Really, no sign of a levelling off there. Reforms rise could be levelling off a little bit. Liberal Democrats rise has levelled off as well. And uh, Greens and SNP not really moving. We can actually look at this a little bit more in depth if we go here. And uh, we can see what's happened through the course of the campaign. So Labour dropped from being in the mid-40s to about 40% uh, so far, of course. Not the end yet. We'll look at this again on Wednesday night. Um, the Conservatives dropped from being in the mid 20s to about 20%, a little bit just under 20% actually now, probably. Reform rose from being close to 10% to like the upper teens, probably about 17%. Not far at all now from crossing over with the Conservatives. Liberal Democrats had a little bit of a rise, so it's under 10%. Uh, they've now gone over 10%. Probably normally expected Liberal Democrats rise a little, little bit more than that. Um, but most of their vote, you know, is coming from tactical voting in Conservative and uh, Liberal Democrat seats. So they won't be overly concerned, I don't think, about what that trend line is showing. Greens have gone up ever so slightly. They was hovering around 5% at the start, about uh, 6 or 7% now. And uh, the SNP haven't really moved. They was roughly about 3% at the start. And they're still about 3 now, obviously, although Labour have dropped from the mid 40s to 40 percent, so too have the Conservatives, which means that overall that 20 percent 
gap from Labour to Conservatives that we had at the start of the campaign, mid-40s, mid-20s, has been maintained. It's just that the gap is like 40 to 20 rather than 45 to 25. But overall, Labour still on course for an absolutely massive majority, a landslide majority, a mega landslide majority. And shall I say it, I get to have a bit of trouble when I do, super majority. But... um. We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, right, anyway, let's get rid of that. That's your uh, Saturday night party roundup, the final pack Saturday night party roundup of the 2024 general election. Let me just shift my chair. Oh, there we go. Final Saturday night party roundup of the 2024 general election. There may be more polls appearing late in some of the papers. I wouldn't be surprised if there could be a Delta poll mail on Sunday. Back tend to turn up uh, later, but it's nearly half nine, so got to get on and uh, get this one posted. If any polls more polls do show up in any of the other papers, uh, Sunday papers, but of course we will cover those in the next polling roundup, which will probably be on Monday. I would imagine we'll be doing um, back-to-back polling roundups on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, of course, will be the final polling roundups. Sometimes there are polls, I'll just talk about this now and we'll talk about it again, on Wednesday. Sometimes there are polls that are released on election day itself. Occasionally uh, you get a poll that's released on the day. Ipsos, uh, formerly Mori, often release a poll on the election day itself. But uh, due to the constraints of, um, you know, electoral law, I will not be able to cover any polls that appear after midnight on Thursday, the 4th of July, until polls close at 10pm, when the exit poll will be uh, revealed by, you know, the, 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 the TV channels and whatnot. So uh, I am able to do the final polling roundup, because that will be released before... Uh, midnight on the 4th of July. So although people could still watch that on the 4th of July, on General Election Day, I won't actually be, you know, recording it, uploading it and releasing it on the 4th of July. Um, but, you know, it's fine to release that on Wednesday, say Wednesday evening. People are able to watch that on Thursday if they wish to. Um, but I can't record, upload and release on uh, Election Day itself until polls are closed. And we'll talk about more about that, though, on uh, Wednesday's uh, final video. But uh, for this one, this Saturday night polling roundup, the last Saturday night polling roundup of general election, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you with more very soon. And bye for now.